what's going on everybody what up what up what up it's young brawlin here in clash Raw with you guys on my main account guys i just did another match that brought me into the top 5k in the world 49.96 right now i'm gonna show you the replay of that game it was against the three musketeer with the pump deck guys um at one point guys the game was out of our control but made a little bit of a comeback so let's check this out guys how it went so we got Golem, Tornado, Night Witch, and Mega Minion in the starting. I thought this would be like an Expo deck, but um, you know, I'm still trying to figure out what kind of deck it is. I couldn't figure it out, so I went with the Golem play, guys. You know, at this point, we would figure out what kind of deck we're going against, guys. So here, I got a Golem Night Witch play in the right. The opponent cycles the pets and the Battle Ram to distract the Night Witch which leaves the, the golem play without the night witch guys and you'll see that it doesn't get much done without anything behind it guys so if the battle rem distracted the baby dragon and the night witch you'll see the golem was not able to get that tower and the three musketeer play coming with the dark prince now and the ice golem musketeer on the right did the lumberjack for the dark prince barbaro to hold that off guys but did not have the response anything for the bandit but i did the musketeer i took care of that with the mega minion and this battle ram guys i did not want to defend because um the tower was gonna lose if i had dropped night witch and i wanted to keep the baby dragon for offense guys when i was gonna make the golden push guys you see here we lost that tower but uh i don't lightning it because i know i want to save it for the three musketeers I go with the golem play behind the king tower guys and I'm waiting to see what the opponent has to drop there we go so the three musketeer comes out I have a lightning guys check that out now I lightning those two musketeers and the pump and on the right side I'm pretty confident that the, the golem will pick up that tower on the right side the bandit tried to get into the tower but the lumberjack blocked off that bandit there guys i load up a night witch play i'm getting ready to defend now because of all this coming down to our side guys i have a mega minion for the battle ram baby dragon for the bats lumberjack here for dark prince guys to distract both of those we defended really nicely guys that's what kind of brought us back into the game after defending that really good another bandit does not get onto the tower and you know we have to be careful of that bandit guys every time so i cycle i don't go with the golem yet because i know this deck is quick guys the battle ram the dark prince the bats the zap um i don't want all that going through here guys you'll see i use the golem to distract those two musketeers and the dark prince guys now baby dragon is helping us defend all that i barbell here on the bandit and the lumberjack killed the bandit guys and here we defend it again and we have a solid dual lane push going on this on this side here guys i do a baby dragon in the pocket we got the golemites distracting the dark prince there guys battle ram on defense the bandit here gets to the tower guys but i had the lumberjack there to stop that 122 left here on our tower on the right guys and you'll see the night witch there with the lumberjack 51 hp left on that tower and we got the lightning to get that tower guys what a close game that was but we made a good comeback and that is the one that brought us up here to 49.93 now guys but all right guys i'm gonna be trying out these two other golem decks that are really strong as well in this better at the moment i've tried them out but uh i'm not gonna take them on into ladder because i don't have too much practice with these yet guys and i don't want to go against these players using decks that i don't have practice with guys so we're gonna first start off with this e-dragon uh, cannon cart e-dragon cannon cart golem deck guys so let's see how that goes we go we're gonna enter a classic So starting four guys, we got a baby dragon, mega minion, barbaro, and the tornado spell. 
gonna start off the game with the bar barrel here, guys. A mega minion coming out from the opponent. We'll go with the mega minion as well. It could be a golem deck here as well. Baby dragon coming out for by the opponent. You know, that's a good indication that we're fighting a golem deck, guys. Okay, the lightning comes out. I'm gonna use a golem here to distract the baby dragon. We're gonna try to get in a play here, guys, with the either cannon cart or we'll either try to uh, do cannon cart. I'll have a golem right here with that, guys. I have a barbell here in case something for air drops. Hmm. We'll use a lumber here, guys. That golem's gonna take care of that tower. We'll probably lose our tower here on the right side to the golem as well. But we are tower for tower, guys. We gotta respond to this mini Pekka. We'll get that done early. A barbell here to hold off this bomber as well, guys. The mini Pekka does not get the hit, guys. That's what we wanted. So guys, I'm gonna load up a golem player here in the right lane now, behind the king tower. The opponent might go with the golem player here in the left lane, guys, but uh, we're gonna try to see if we can do baby dragon here, guys, for defense. And send in a cannon cart. With that play, guys, we go straight for the three. If possible. We go, and now we got the E Dragon here to hold off this Night Witch with the with the Golem player on our King Tower, guys. It does a great job on defense, of course. We go with the Baby Dragon here in the right lane. Now when that golem drops, guys, we can send in the cannon cart to the king tower. It's going to get there quickly and get those nice early hits that we really need to pick up that tower. Deck is really good, guys. You just got to practice with it. It's, it's a different play style from what I usually use. Because if you look at it, guys, I'll show you. This deck does not have a lightning spell. So that changes the play style because... You don't have that direct spell that hits the tower. You have to go defense and then build counter pushes with it. There we go. We'll go jump into another game, guys. I'll do one more with this and then we'll go back to the other deck, guys. These are my top three golem decks that I had good success with on top ladder, guys. Lava Hound. We're going to go with the golem. Same lane as the Lava Hound, guys. Inferno Dragon coming out. front of dragon guys i have e-dragon here so you know we're gonna try to make use of that right there you will see just like that i'm gonna send in barbara right here for the lumber you know we can take care of that especially when the e was or e-dragon is slowing things down guys there we go we can use a baby dragon here to uh, hold off as much as damage as possible guys we're gonna send in the lumberjack here because the golem golemites are gonna distract the tower and the prince and we can get in a lot of damage done here on that tower and that sparky coming out wildly from the opponent we have a mega minion to respond to that now let's see if that double dragon play on the king tower can get us the value that we are looking for guys we'll send the cannon cart to make sure that we can solidify that three crown Alright, let's go jump into, we'll do one more match with this deck guys and then we'll switch over to the Ice Wizard version of the Golem deck guys with the Mini Pekka. I go with the Baby Dragon in the same, well it's a bomb tower so it really doesn't matter which lane I would go in, but uh. So four elixir spent by the opponent. I went with the four elixir. We're gonna go with the E Dragon, guys. It's a card that was the best option for me. Cannon Cart would not be able to stop 
you know, E-Dragon can stop the baby dragon, so we'll go with that. Here you'll see, now we can go with the um, cannon cart because we need this. It's our only air unit left after E-Dragon and baby dragon not in our cycle. So we'll use a cannon cart, we'll use a barbell right here to see if we can keep our cannon cart alive guys and keep it going to the tower. Oh, that did not happen guys, so we're gonna cycle a mega minion behind the king tower. Go with the baby dragon here in the corner. And uh, I will meet that up with the lumberjack guys and see if we can break through to the tower, try to get some it's in mega minion here getting rid of that bomb tower i'm gonna have to go on defense here guys because well this could be a graveyard deck to be honest guys we go we're gonna go cannon cart for defense i'm okay with that because that barbell did not need to be there it looks like we're good for a golden player here guys the poison is out of the cycle um it definitely reminds me of a graveyard deck guys i don't i didn't see any other win condition in the opponent's deck i saw bomb tower knight um yeah ice whiz there we go guys we're gonna send in the double dragon play you see i'm gonna use a nato here to make sure that we get the most out of that play as well guys the e dragon doing damage baby dragon doing damage together you know that so we got the cannon car locked onto the tower guys that does a lot of damage once locked onto the tower i'm gonna do a lumberjack right here on the night and here comes the graveyard i'm gonna do a bar barrel here to keep the e wiz well ice was away from the tower zap baby dragon right here to hold off the ice whiz or 319 left here on the tower guys we need to make sure that we can get that in we go cannon cart we're gonna do a lumberjack right here to keep that away behind the bridge guys that's gonna make sure that the knight does not get to the tower as well i'm gonna use a baby dragon here on the ice whiz check out that left side guys I'm gonna send in another cannon cart, basically not even worried about the right side. It juked it. Ooh, never mind, never mind. Too early. Ah, uh, yeah, we lost this one, guys. A very close game. That's what happens when you don't have that spell. Good game, well played. <laughs> all right guys let's check out the other deck right here this is the one that i like even more than this one guys so this is probably it's good because of the lightning spell being there guys you can get that direct damage on the tower so let's go jump into another match here and see how this deck does guys on defense it's really good because for ground guys you have mini pekka you know what that does to giants and golems and anything hog riders and whatever ground unit comes guys it shreds it and uh baby dragon and ice whiz with the tornado spell that you know that's just uh rip here we go mini pekka takes care takes care of the bandit and we find out that we're going against a pekka poison deck guys probably has an e whiz We'll go with this. We use a NATO to make sure that the P.E.K.K.A. does not get any hits here on our tower. So this is a poison P.E.K.K.A. deck, guys. We're gonna have to do night witch here early to make sure that this battle ram does not lock on the tower. We're gonna have to do mini P.E.K.K.A. here for the royal ghost. Just want to quickly check that we're still recording. Yes, we're still in action, guys. Here we go. Mini Pekka coming. Well, Mega Minion coming down from the opponent here on top of that Mega Minion. It does not let it get any hit on that tower. I have to go with the Ice Woods here early, guys. To stop that bandit, bandit from hitting our tower. 
I go with the Ice Wiz with the Barbaro to avoid any hits on that tower from the Bandit. I have a Baby Dragon play here for this. You know, I have a Night Witch as well. Well, the Battle Rim still gets the charge on to the tower. Let's see if we can get Mini P.E.K.K.A. through to the tower here. If the opponent does not have a P.E.K.K.A. in cycle, we might be able to, guys. One hit and a couple of hits in, guys. And we're back. We have the upper hand now in this game, guys. Mm -hmm. We can go with the Ice Wiz. That same lane. Let's see if I can send in the Barbaro to pick up some hits on this tower early. As soon as I see Ghost, I'm gonna Lightning, guys, to get that E Wiz out of there. And Nato, this back, guys, I have another Ice Wiz. We'll send in the Barbaro. Keeping the P.E.K.K.A. back, guys. We got a mini P.E.K.K.A. here. It's gonna do a great job on defense guys check that out <clears throat> 361 left on that tower lightning does well don't even need that lightning guys mini pekka got that job done for us i have a nato spell to hold back this barbaro guys got a, a battle ram ice was right here is gonna do a great job of holding everything back guys this deck has great defensive potential guys if you're looking for a deck without Lumberjack, this is the one. And I like this deck because of the Lightning Spell being there, guys. Mm -hmm. Tier 25, we'll collect that gold. Let's see if we can get some star points. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we're gonna go back into another game with this mini Pekka Ice Wiz deck guys. Here we go, here we go. We got the baby dragon ice Wiz, mini Pekka and the lightning in our cycle. Gonna start off with the ice Wiz. It's gonna do damage to the miner, guys. It's gonna slow it down. And not let it get too much damage to our tower. Makes the opponent go with the wizard, guys. We're going to switch lanes and go with the night witch in the right lane. You know, it's early in the game, guys. We're just trying to throw the opponent off here a little bit. Go with the mini P.E.K.K.A. Barbaro with the baby dragon. Want to get the wizard out of there. And uh, I think the... Baby Dragon should be able to hold off the Mega Knight there. Does not get that hit on the tower. I have to do NATO play here with the Ice Wiz, guys. Otherwise, this Mini P.E.K.K.A. will get that hit on the tower. On defense, guys, this deck is amazing. You just saw what it could do. And it's buying us a lot of time, guys. We can basically ignore that miner right now because we don't have that elixir right now. Here we go, here we go. We'll go with the Night Witch. We'll go with the, I probably should have not gone with the golem play there because of that elixir lead. We don't have the elixir lead. Can we break through this tower, guys? Well, we broke through that tower. Golem, that damage is going to do damage to both of the wizards. That's good. That's good. And, um... Hey, guys, we're going to have to go with this type of play. Ice Wiz is going to try to slow down this mini P.E.K.K.A. And we should be able to hold off this play here for a little bit as well, guys. There we go gonna see a miner coming down this time we're not gonna let it go because we're in double elixir and we can go with the golden play here by the time the inferno tower comes actually never mind i thought by the time the inferno tower comes out we'll be back to the lightning <laughs> but let's see if we can get this through to the tower never mind that mega knight is gonna do a great job here guys on defense so you gotta go with the bar bro here early the mini P.E.K.K.A. here for the Mega Knight. Got the 
drag everything back guys this might even be a good game here <laughs> well played well played the inferno tower we needed that lightning we just didn't have the lightning in our hand i thought i thought we would have a flexor for lightning bummer all right guys we're gonna go back into another match Let's see if we can pick up another win Coming out from the opponent, we're gonna start off with the Night Witch Miner. Okay, giant play, guys. We're gonna go with the Golem. We're gonna continue our play here on the left side. Uh, we're gonna see if we can use a maybe Barbarrel here or something, or let's see if we can get that in time. Well, we got the Night Witch to stay alive, guys, and this is gonna be the game changing play. We got the mini P.E.K.K.A. here for the giant, guys. That play's not going to get anything done. Um, on the right there, guys, we got the golem getting all that value, of course. I could have gone with the lightning here, but uh, hold back on that, guys. Ice Wish right here is going to hold off the mini P.E.K.K.A. And I'm going to ignore that musketeer. It's going to do a lot of damage here, but... Um, I'm gonna focus on going straight for that three crown here, guys. Oh no. It's a mini P.E.K.K.A. Ooh, graveyard. This should be okay, guys. Once the graveyard is fully deployed, I'm just gonna wait, 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 lose that tower, and then go with the Barbaro. You know, we take care of all that. I got a NATO right here for all that, guys. And now we're looking pretty solid. We got a good healthy golem here, guys. I can send in a mini P.E.K.K.A. because the opponent has a mini P.E.K.K.A. here somewhere. It's going to drop on the golem. If it doesn't, that's going to... Well, probably shouldn't have done that, guys. That's going to cost the game. So check that out, guys. We didn't even get to the double elixir mark. And that three crown is ours, guys. There we go. Alright guys, I'm going to end this one here guys. I just wanted to show you guys a bunch of other golem decks that you can use if you don't like the one with the Lumberjack Lightning NATO guys. You can check out the one with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Ice Wiz. If you don't like the one with Lightning in there, you can check out the one with the E-Dragon Cannon Cart guys. These are all really good decks for ladder. You just have to practice with them a little bit and uh, keep on improving guys. But hope you guys have success with these decks guys. Don't, uh, make sure you try them out if you're looking for a golem deck. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for staying tuned in. I uh, appreciate you guys um, supporting the channel. And don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here, guys. Thanks for watching. Rolling out. Peace.